The breakfast rush is over at the Hy-Vee grocery store hot food counter in Waukee, Iowa, and the breakfast pizza won't be saved for tomorrow. But rather than being tossed in the trash and sent to a landfill, it joins the other organic waste this store generates in a trip to a regional recycling center. Right now, uh, up to 72% of waste coming from a city waste stream is organic material that can all be diverted from a landfill. We have a lot of customers who have corporate sustainability goals, uh, zero waste goals, and a lot of times their hardest objects to get out of there are going to be the organic ones. They can do the plastic, they can do the cardboard, they can do the metal, so on and so forth. But when it comes to uh, organic material, they don't have a place for that to go. So Green RU is a great option. hy V, which operates 242 grocery stores in eight Midwestern states, is among several companies seeking alternatives to sending organic waste to landfills. The zero waste goal is a growing trend among businesses and has opened a market opportunity for Green RU. As the volume of material available for composting increases, the demand for inexpensive compost is also growing. Green RU compost can be used for landscaping and residential locations, as well as a soil amendment in agricultural settings. Composting is favored by customers and employees instead of sending waste to landfills. And we quickly learned that our employees felt very engaged in the whole sustainability effort. They knew the value of diverting to lower the methane uh, that is coming out of the landfill. They understand the importance of lowering your carbon footprint. And to work for an employer that cares about that was important to them, is important to them. We know it's more the right thing to do is to maximize our opportunities for landfill diversion. Employee participation is a key to diverting appropriate waste into the compostable stream. A grocery store generates a large amount of waste in nominal terms. While a small percentage of goods sold, a single hy grocery store can send 30,000 pounds of material into the composting stream each month. Products are routinely pulled from shelves ahead of their sell-by dates. Some of the pulled products are distributed to social service groups and nonprofits that focus on food insecurity. So that's our first priority, is to get the edible, unsellable to consumers who can use it. Once it gets to the point of spoilage, that it's no longer viable for human consumption, of course, then we put that in the landfill diversion with the compost, and that was 12 million pounds. Compostable materials are collected in the back of the store in a separate dumpster from the landfill-bound trash. A custom-built service truck empties the specialized receptacle several times a week depending on the volume of waste the store generates. Trucks travel with their own water supply for cleaning the empty dumpsters after each load. The organic waste is eventually blended with ground wood products to achieve a specific mix that encourages the decomposition process. At this 18-acre Green RU facility near Eddyville, Iowa, windrows 700 feet long are slowly turned to aerate the organic material. Some compost recipes can become finished product in as little as eight weeks, while others require 12 to 14 weeks to finish. Food waste is valuable to the chemistry of composting with its high nitrogen and moisture content. The nitrogen and water speed the decomposition process when mixed with ground up wood products, which are mostly carbon. As the decomposition process proceeds, the carbon to nitrogen ratio shifts from 30 to one to the 15 to 1 range, which is valuable for both agricultural and residential consumers. While demand for finished compost is important, high V officials are always seeking a competitive rate compared to sending everything to the landfill. We have a lot of customers that find it to be cost neutral, it's a very affordable program, even some have cost savings by diverting that waste from going to the landfill to compost. The number one thing, though, with our customers, as you'll find out, is that their main goal isn't the cost. It's they want to do the right thing. They want to be, uh, have a sustainable future, and their number one thing is, is zero waste. So at Green RU, that is our number one goal, is to provide that customer service. Cost neutrality may be a long-term advantage produced by Green RU. The company essentially bids for different types of compostable waste using a sliding fee scale. Some waste streams are more valuable to Green RU for what the stream brings to the composting process than others. The composting option may make more and more economic sense. 
Slowing the volume of waste destined for landfills means lower garbage costs for homes and businesses and fewer acres of rural America devoted to the burying of trash. Since our landfills are filling up quickly, we are taking what was once thought as a, a waste, zero value, and we're creating it into something with a environmental benefit in compost. From Market to Market, I'm Peter Tubbs.